Hello, I'm Joe Williams from the Fire Brigades Union. I'm here again at uh, HQ in Kingston, London, and I'm joined by Matt Rack, the General Secretary. Matt, so uh, the FBU has decided to call uh, strike action over the Christmas period following strikes last week. Um, what's the thinking exactly? Well, I think the first thing to say uh, to, to people is that none of these decisions are taken lightly. There's a great deal of thought and debate goes into them. Uh, I know that's happened at local level. I've spoken to members all over the country about the forms of industrial action we're taking, uh, the things we need to think about when we're doing that, uh, and the same debates are taking place on branches, but on, fire, on brigade committees of the union, regional committees, sectional committees and so on, and the Executive Council spends a great deal of time thinking about that. So I want to assure members that a great deal of thought goes into these uh, decisions before they are made. Uh, and there are disagreements, there are debates, and that's uh, always going to be the way. Uh, but hopefully people can understand and appreciate that uh, that has been a, a process that reflects the debates that are going on on the ground. And then the Executive Council takes its responsibilities very, very seriously. Uh, so clearly I think uh, in terms of uh, some people in the media, for example, politicians may well criticise us over some of these decisions. Uh, I suppose for us the, the key point is that firefighters work... 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. So every day is a working day for our members. Uh, and uh, we, we've tried to make the point to the public and to politicians that we're there all the time and therefore when we call industrial action might be at any, any time. Uh, and hopefully that will sink in. So we have uh, on this occasion, we've deliberately, we had a debate, but we've uh, avoided you know, the, the, the big family day of Christmas day, Boxing day we've avoided, but there, there is other industrial action going to take place. Um, and I hope it brings home to the government how serious firefighters view this and the scale of anger that there is on the ground about what they're doing to us. Okay, so as well as strike action, uh, a recent vote of members also mandated the use of, of, of other forms of industrial yes. action. What actually is that going to look like? Well, uh, it gives us another, another weapon to use, if you like, another tool in the, in the toolbox. Uh, so the, the first thing that the Executive Council has called is uh, a period of uh, an overtime ban, so a short period of an overtime ban uh, between Christmas and New Year, and that's what that will uh, involve firefighter members across England, Scotland, and Wales. Uh, there is also a call for our control members to take a short period of an overtime ban during uh, during the period of strike action. So uh, limited action, but again, uh, hopefully bringing home to employers uh, and government that. Things are not normal in the fire service. We're not working normally because we need this dispute resolving. Okay, so uh, strikes, other forms of industrial action over the festive period. What are the plans for the for the new year? Well, clearly the new year is going to be absolutely key. Uh, it's the year when uh, our contributions are going to go up again. So we're preparing our response to the the governments in England currently on that. We'll have to do the same for Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Hopefully, that gives them the the evidence that they need to. Uh, alter their plans and not to hit our members as they're planning to. Uh, they're also going to start work on the new pension scheme, the 2015 pension scheme that they're proposing and we hope that that's a chance for them to sit down and discuss with us all the issues including the questions of protection of, of our members in the FPS, what their plans are for the members of the NFPS going into next year when they face another contribution increase, how they're going to try and make sure that this uh, pension scheme is fit for purpose for the fire service, affordable, sustainable and fair, which is the government's own phrase, that's all we want out of, of this. Uh, I think for the new year also, we uh, hopefully this industrial action sends a very clear message that we are prepared, if necessary, for a very difficult fight. Uh, and we're not going away anywhere, uh, we're not giving up, so I really hope that the, the government takes that on board. And I think for members, uh, I suppose one message that comes out of us taking industrial action over a, a, a normally festive period is that it's not too happy a time for the firefighters and, and their families in some ways, that uh, hopefully people can have a, a, a good uh, holiday period, but uh, actually in many ways the future looks pretty bleak in terms of the future of the fire service, but also the future of our members' pension rights. Uh, so uh, in the new year we'll be launching, relaunching the campaign, urging people to get involved with their local politicians, with their MPs, MSPs, assembly members, fire authority members uh, and so on to put the case that firefighters have got a very strong evidence-based case to defend their pensions. We want a pension scheme that's fit for firefighters, fit, the fi fit for the fire and rescue service and that's what we're after. Okay, Matt Rat, thanks very much.